Hi, this is Anne Marie from Future Flying Saucers Resources, and I wanted to take a few moments to answer one of the questions that have been given to me. And the question was, how do you start? How do you start teaching Bible in your home? And I think that is a great question because that's where a lot of families are. Um, whether you are just beginning church ministry, maybe you've taken a volunteer position, uh, maybe you are starting to homeschool and you want to uh, teach Bible in your home. Uh, perhaps you are just beginning discipleship in your home because uh, you just haven't done it in a while, or perhaps you're a new believer. And if you are a new believer, first thing I want to say to that is, that is just awesome. Congratulations. It's the greatest decision you will ever make in your life. So um, that's just exciting because that's the whole point of the Bible in the first place is salvation. And of course, if you come to know Jesus as an adult, what you're wanting is for your children to know Jesus as well. And the whole point of teaching the scriptures is for salvation. So I have a whole stack of uh, fun resources that I wanted to show you, um, things that I've done in my own home. And I'm going to start um, with uh, age-appropriate stuff for, for little guys. Um, now, obviously with infants, and I would even say twos and threes, you probably just want to get maybe a Bible picture book and just read it. And that's that's the whole point that I, I kind of want to get across to you is just read the scriptures, read the scriptures with your kids. Um, it doesn't have to be anything very flamboyant and structured. Just read the scriptures. Now, obviously, you know, I create object lessons and fun and fun things to do at home. Um, and, you know, you're more than welcome to use them. That's why they're there. Uh, don't reinvent the wheel if someone else has already uh, designed and written things. But for for those people just starting out, just don't even get, don't get complicated because when you get complicated, um, when you make things complicated, you're not as likely to do them. Does that make sense? Um, so when you're wanting to read the Bible with your kids, just pick up a, a Bible book and read it. Uh, so like if, so for little ones, you know, for twos and threes, maybe even in the fours, uh, the 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 Jesus storybook, some of those that are just uh, the picture books with just a little bit of text to read. Just get get that that habit of reading those stories and talking about how exciting those events in history are and that type of thing. Uh, just get your kids excited about Jesus. That's what you want to do at that age. And when you get a little bit older, when the kids are in kindergarten, first grade, second grade, um, you're going to want a book kind of like this. Okay, and this is a great book, Children's Bible in 365 Stories. And it's, you know, not one that the kids would read, but it's one that you would read to the kids. But it's just a section of text, and then you're done. And it's written very well. And so you can start with that when they're ready to kind of sit for, you know, five to ten minutes to listen to a story. Um, and then when you get a little bit older, and I actually did this one with my kindergarten, first grade kids. This is um, it's the child's story Bible. There again, it's not it's not um, a, a Bible with chapters and verses, but it's a story Bible. And this is um, it's just fantastic. I don't even know words to describe it, but it's a great book. And it has the stories are a little bit longer. And there aren't very many pictures in it, but there are pictures. And this is an old version. I don't even know. I don't even know uh, if there's a new version of this. This is an old book. But um, but the stories are written so well. It's almost like it's a narrative of the Bible. Um, but this is highly recommended. I, I like this one. The Child Story Bible is by Catherine F. Voss. Really good. Um, and then when your kids are able to read on their own, okay, on their own, this is the version that I like to have for them. This is the International Children's Bible. I highly recommend getting a Bible on your child's reading level. 
Okay, so if you think about it, when missionaries go on the field and they go to some new people group, they don't go to that people group and start talking in their own language the gospel because the people don't understand it. And it's the same thing with kids. Um, you know, we're, we as parents are missionaries to our kids. Now, what do missionaries do? They translate the scripture into the heart language of the people they're trying to reach. Well, so why would we not want our children to have the scriptures on a reading level that they can read on their own? You know, really. Uh, so this, this is a great, it's on a third grade reading level. So if you have a, a, a second grader who's reading really well on their own, third grader, fourth grader, fifth grader, I highly recommend this one right here. International Children's Bible. This is what the newest version looks like. And this is chapter and verse, the scripture, but it's on a third grade reading level with vocabulary that they understand. And that's a good thing. We want kids to be able to read and understand the scriptures. Okay. Another version that um, I like for kids on that same um, age, third, fourth, and fifth grade, is the English Standard Bible, um, English Standard Version. Again, it's in on a grade level with vocabulary that those children can understand. So ICB and the ESB, those are for upper elementary into middle school. And then when you have a kid who is ready to um, really start learning the scriptures, like you, in you, if you're really ready to start learning some scriptures, this is what I recommend. I understand that there are people who love the King James Version of scripture. And if it works for you, awesome. Read the King James Version. But you know what? The 1600s were a really a long time ago. And we don't use those words, these and thou's and, and all that type of thing. We don't talk like that anymore. And there's some really good versions of the scriptures that are out. Men who are way smarter than me took the time to go back to the Hebrew and the Greek and write these new versions of scriptures. Um, so the one that I like to use when teaching children is this Bible right here. And I think I put a link to this in the Facebook group. But this is the new King James Version. So it's not like I'm totally against the King James Version. I do like the new King James Version. Okay. And this one's actually a children's ministry Bible. It actually has Bible lessons in it that you can do. So like if you are starting a volunteer position, maybe you're, you, you're going to be a Sunday school teacher. This would be a wonderful resource to have because if you get stuck and don't have a lesson or you're reading a lesson, it's just not working for you. You can go here and there's lessons inside the Bible here and all the scriptures there. It tells you what to do. This is a great resource. So children's ministry, this, you want this one. Um, for my personal everyday Bible reading, the one that I like to, be, to use the best is the NASB version. And um, I love, if you've used my Bible study packs, you can tell I love inductive study, critical thinking of the scripture. And um, so I have the uh, new inductive study Bible that I use for myself. And it's the um, New American Standard Version. I really like that version because um, it's taken right from the Hebrew and the Greek translation. It's the translated straight from there. So it's not like they took a version and then made the language better. They just went back to the Hebrew and the Greek and, and translated it for this version. And then the other version that I like to do, if I'm just going to sit down and just read it and not necessarily study it, um, I like the Holman Christian Standard Bible. This is a great one because this is the Everyday with Jesus Bible. It's the Holman version. And it has little devotionals in it. But if you start on January, well, you don't even have to start on January. Start on whatever date you want. But you can read through it and you will read through the entire Bible in one year. And that's pretty cool because have you done that yet? If you haven't, you want to look into getting one of these year-long Bibles because um, I highly recommend reading through the scriptures all in a year because it gives you such a great overview of what the scriptures are. And then after you've read the whole thing in a year, then it just, I don't know, it just lights something in you that you want to get more deeper into the scripture. And um, 
and you want to still keep doing this because you can go back January 1st and start all over again because you will learn new stuff every time you read it, especially if you ask the Holy Spirit to reveal things to you. So I hope that answered that question. How do you start um, teaching the scriptures in your home? Start just by reading the Bible. Just read, pray together, read, pray together, rinse, repeat. <laughs> and um, just the more you do that together as a family, it's just, it's just good stuff. It'll draw your family together. You'll grow together uh, as, as a Christian family. And um, you will see great results uh, in your children just through reading those scriptures. Now, it's going to point out sin. You know, the more that you grow in Jesus, the more you realize sin is all over us and we've got to deal with it. And so that's something else that's going to allow you to teach your kids is when you be start becoming transparent about the sin in your own life and how the Lord's teaching you, wow, I can't do this or I need to do this. And that's just the Holy Spirit just working in you as a mom or a dad to um, sanctify you because we want the Holy Spirit to do that because um, his whole point is to turn us into the image of Jesus. And uh, that means we've got to deal with the sin in our heart and uh, go through repentance and sanctification. And if you don't know, uh, I have a book that's called Walk This Way, Ethics and Sanctification Lessons for Kids. If you're ready to do something like that, uh, you can pick that up in the FFS store or on Amazon. And all the lessons are right there for you. You just have to get a few things around your home and you can teach some really good lessons on dealing with some of the junk that can get in our hearts um, that God's dealing with. So you have a great day. Thank you so much for being a part of this group. I'll talk to you later.